In 1921, growth hormone was isolated from the pituitary gland, so it could start doing animal experiments. And by the late 20s, there's a group of Americans who are doing experiments giving dogs growth hormone. So they start off, first one ever done is two English bulldog puppies from a litter. And when they're four weeks old, they establish four weeks, their growth curve is completely normal. They give one of the dog growth hormone injections, and that dog starts growing bigger and heavier than the other dog and they comment that the dog developed a voracious appetite and Bauer describes this experiment and he says no one would think that the growth hormone makes the dog hungry rather they would assume that the growth hormone makes the dog grow and the process of growth needing fuel to both to create all the new tissue and to make it happen that needing the fuel makes the dog hungry and it's the same process that we're talking about with obesity so even if somebody eats for voraciously and are fat, that doesn't mean that they're fat because they eat voraciously. And it makes perfect sense. It's a beautiful metaphor. 